start by getting yourself some black material and lay it with the right sides together so that the wrong side is out. And you want the fold at the top, you want the length to be from your shoulders down to about your mid thigh. And you want the width so that it's four inches wider than your shoulders on each side. So in the very center at the top, cut down about an inch and a half, and then on three inches on either side of that, just cut a little divot to use as the neck hole. Now I just slid a piece of paper in there so you can see what I'm doing. I just slid that in between the two layers. So I'm only going to be working on the top layer. And then you just cut a slightly curved line down about four inches on either side of the collar. And then cut that straight across. And then over on the left hand side, it's going to be the right hand side when you're wearing it, but over on the left hand side, you just want to cut that at a deeper angle another inch and then up to the other side. So you should have that. Here's what it looks like without the paper. So for the armholes, measure down a foot, and then you're going to cut a curved line from that mark up to the shoulder, just like that. Then over on the left-hand side, mark where it falls at your waist, and you're going to cut a line straight over and down, about halfway down in the center. Just cutting out a regular square shape. Just like that. And then over on the long side, you're going to go up another three inches and cut that off at a diagonal. So here is what you should have so far. So you're going to sew down the left side and sew down the longer right side, leaving all the rest of it unsewn. So for the sleeves, cut a rectangle a foot longer than your wrist and you want it to be a foot and a half tall. And you'll cut two pieces like that for each sleeve and put the right sides together. And then you'll just sew along each of the long sides, leaving the other two sides open. So to attach it, you'll start by sewing it to the bottom of the sleeve opening, and you're going to go until you get to about three inches from the top, and then you're just going to scrunch the inside up about an inch inside. You're just going to hot glue that in so that you have about an inch or two overhanging the sleeve. So here I've got it pinned in place, and then I'm just going to hot glue that lip. It's really hard to see on the camera, um, but basically you're just hot gluing it under the lip of that sleeve. Here's a better shot of it. That would be Mr. Spock. And so you can see that the sleeve hangs off where I've got it hot glued inside there. So then put the sleeve over your arm and on the top side of the sleeve, you just wanna run a piece of thread through it. Just run that back through and not the thread. And then what you're gonna do is on the top side of the sleeve, you're just gonna do a running stitch and you're gonna gather up that extra foot that you have on the sleeve length. You wanna gather it up until you it exposes your wrist. Just keep running the needle through and then pull it up tight so it's good and gathered. It exposes your wrist and then just knot that in place. And then you're going to take a strip of black fabric about an inch wide, a little darker than the rest, and hot glue that in place. Then you're going to take some more of those strips of black fabric. You want them to be darker than the rest of the material. This is my camera did a lousy job of picking up the different colored blacks, but this you can kind of see where you need to glue the strips. They're all about an inch wide. If you just look at one of the picture stills from the movie, it'll give you a better indication of where you need to glue all the strips. But all the strips are an inch wide, so you just hot glue those on the front, and you'll glue them exactly the same way on the back side, with the exception of the little half circle will not be on the back side. But that's what it should look like. And so then for the symbols that go on the front, I just cut them out of cardstock and covered them with some metallic silver paint. These are pretty easy to draw freehand, or I do have a template at thewoolandelf.com slash pattern slash spock. And then you just hot glue those right into the little section there that was made by the black stripes. And for the undershirt, I just got a secondhand turtleneck from the Salvation Army, cut the collar down the center, and then you just fold the two pieces under to form a V and hot glue them in place. And so here is what the finished robe looks like.